Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. So by this time, I'm definitely sure that you have heard about Playwright in our channel or maybe different channel or some another tech blogs. So we can conclude that 99 percentage Playwright is the best in the market now. But there is a, always a question whether we should choose the Playwright with JavaScript, TypeScript or the java so as we know like playwright supports multiple binding um we have like java javascript the node.js based of course the python java and the dotnet we will ignore the python and dotnet because most of the test in testing we don't use that uh, or also we can select the famous one is java and of course the typescript or the javascript okay so when i say javascript consider or please upgrade to typescript it's really cool okay now coming back to the topic so i'm going to give you some hint based on my observation of course it's not any kind of expertise talk i'm just going to share my thoughts whatever i have learned so far so the first point is what language your team knows for example if your team is already using the selenium and java then definitely I will recommend you to go with that. But in that also you have to consider few of the points. Uh, I will tell you from my perspective. We know that recently like all the test automation framework library are moving towards the Node.js, the JavaScript and the TypeScript. So if you want to add a new skill set in your portfolio, definitely I will recommend you to learn the JavaScript and the TypeScript and start using uh, node base any of the testing okay and there is also a i read it somewhere i don't know if i remember i'll just put the link in the description most of the organizations are now willing to move to the node.js node.js uh, testing uh, rather than dotnet or the java the reason is very simple if you see the popular tech stack like angular view react uh, just not just next i believe so all those are based on the uh, javascript not the java right so that is what happening so maybe in few like two or three years we can see like everyone is going to move to the node.js based application for testing as well okay second thing is my personal opinion the syntactic sugar so i just want to give you a few examples here if you go to this java documentation of uh, playwright if you go to the docs and let's go to something random like maybe screenshot so here you can see like the screenshot syntax let's go with the full page so page dot screenshot and you have to call the constructor of a screenshot options from there you have to set the path and you have to use another class and then you have to do it okay if i take the same code in typescript or the javascript let's go to the screenshot this, this looks very similar to me doesn't you feel that like if you compare the syntax side by side definitely of course if you know java very well this is nothing to you if you know typescript javascript this is nothing to you but just but based on the looks at least i can say or the way we can type i can say I feel personally, I feel like TypeScript is very compact comparing to the Java, like classes, subjects, lot of things. Of course, we have that in TypeScript as well. You can create a uh, constructor, you can create an object, but most of the syntax looks very similar. Not only for screenshot, if you go and see any other thing, um, let's say that you want to uh, go for the authentication. Um, not this one let's go to downloads maybe okay so if you see the download code here like page dot on download and in java also same if you know the lambda so there is of course a new learning you have to learn the lambda to write the similar code like the java if you do not know lambda then of course like this arrow syntax of course it won't work right so you have to write the classical way of writing calling them functions calling the method all the stuff okay so this again my personal feeling uh, nothing much here 
okay now the next thing whenever we select a framework of course it's the the major part in testing is the report right so in java playwright of course you can use the allure or the extend report right but of course you have to write the code okay so if you're going to implement with the help of test ng then of course you have to write lot of code trust me it's lot of code it's not that simple of course you can minimize the code and you can write like within 20 or 30 lines of code but i hope you are getting my point still you have to write it whether it's allure or the um, extent report but in TypeScript, it is like out of the box. You don't have to do anything much. Just go to your configuration file, add the report as you want. Like it can be HTML, line, dot, JUnit, XML, whatever it is. It is like out of the box. So definitely the points will be added to the playwright TypeScript, not the Java. Okay. I'm not saying that you cannot do anything. Of course, 100%, whatever we can do in the TypeScript, you can do the same in JavaScript, in Java as well. But you have to write. Nothing is like out of the box. That is what the intent of this video to make clear that point. Okay. The next is the test runner. So if you go with the Java, then we don't have much options. Uh, if I go to the Java documentation and if I go to this integration part, here you can see nothing. But if I go to the TypeScript part and if I go to the same integration, so uh, yeah, so here if you go to the third party runners, there are a lot of options. But the recommended one and I personally use is the Playwright test. So there are two things in Playwright. One is the Playwright library. If you want to do something like web scrapping or you want to write your unit test code, then you can go with the playwright library itself but if you want to do the ui automation uh, then definitely you should go with the playwright test runner and playwright test runner has a huge ad advantage compared to like just mocha or whatever it is okay and of course the playwright test runner is inspired from the gist but it is a in a better shape i can say okay and of course in java you can use the junit or the test ng which is good uh, very good i'm not saying bad but still player test runner it's like out of box so with that test runner you can do the retry in just a single configuration retry is there and like you can customize the report based on the player test runner like we turn on videos screenshot uh, retry trace so a lot of options are there when we go with the test ng of course we can do the retry with the help of retry analyzer or from the failed test ng xml file but still if it's retry you have to write code whereas in test runner playwright test runner we don't have to write the code okay so the last and final point is of course the vs code extension definitely there is no replaceable for this for now okay so there is a new id called aqua aqua i believe i pronounce it correct so maybe that can change a bit but still now like i am doing this in november 2022 this video till now vs code is the best integration for your playwright with typescript not because of the id of course because of the vs code extension as well so you can do the debugging very easily just you have to like if you want to change your locator you can change it from your ide that will be reflected in the browser in the runtime i mean like the typical way of debugging i have a detailed video you can check that one okay so these are the five points my personal points like if i have to select java or the javascript definitely i will go with the javascript sorry i will go with the typescript yeah eventually both are same but you know the difference if you don't know the difference i will leave a card for the javascript and the typescript just watch it okay so that's it for this video uh, if you think it helps just give me a like and also do let me know your thoughts in the comment i'll be happy to correct if i'm wrong but these are my honest opinion okay 
So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one very soon. Bye bye. Take care.